that big of a guy. Like, uh, overall, in general, I'm kind of, like, uh, on the side of petite. Like, I mean, I'm a lot more muscular than I uh, have been before in the past. In fact, actually, I've been uh, working on that. But uh, I'm still got a long ways to go for that, too. What the hell is this blue shit? What the fuck? Oh, it's a flare. I was really confused. I thought that this was going to be like some really weird Easter egg that I found or something. Yeah, no, but mods, um, just an FYI to you guys, um, as the channel's getting bigger, we're getting more exposure to more people, and I'm starting to realize that it's not necessarily, uh, as a rare of a thing as I thought it was going to be anymore. So, if there's anybody that you think is, uh, in danger of possibly causing, uh, problems, even as far as, like, corrupting my game, for example, then please, uh, let me know, uh, and thank you, Soup, even though you're not a mod, thank you for, uh, trying to help me out, I appreciate that. Yeah, like, whatever you guys are suspicious about with anything, please hit me up and, uh, try to let me know. I would appreciate it. And I'm gonna be a lot more, uh, cracking down on these types of things. I'm not gonna be, uh, sugarcoating it, not gonna lie. Uh-oh. Fuck, he saw me. Ah. Just fuck you, Volatile. Shit. Surprisingly, the shotgun was very efficient. Either my guns are a lot stronger, or I'm a lot stronger, or they're a lot weaker. Because I was surprised that that killed them. For me, one of my uh, biggest things that uh, has been a health thing for me, other than trying to put on weights, is uh, also just trying to like feel better about like my energy level. Because yeah, even at 22, I've had moments where I've had like really hard time like trying to keep my energy up, and that can even lead to things like such as not taking care of myself, like uh, dehydration, being hungry, and all that crap. Uh, so I recommend uh, that we all work together to try to help out each other, because. Uh, we might be able to all help each other out, uh, achieve our goals. Be really cool, you know? So. Alright, well, let's look for some stuff. All those, where are ya? No, no. Grappling hook, bruh. 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 I can't get up. It only forces me to use Tic Tac, and I can't grappling hook. That's fucking annoying. Problem is I'm going to run out of time in the hive here. Ow. Is it right here? Oh, it was right here. Shit, that was where I was supposed to go. Yeah. I figured. 
Yeah, go figure. And they're all gonna spawn in here now too, which is worse. God, fuck you! That jump scared me. I turned around right at the worst moment possible. Screw you. As soon as there's only a few, at least, they'll thank God. And I'm getting more on the tough side where I can fight them, actually. I think I killed them, honestly. All that's left is the fat guy and the one that's still stuck down there. fat guy up there. Another volatile. Alright, bring it, bitch. Oh, I think I'm leaving the cave, which is why they're respawning. Yeah. That's probably exactly what was happening. Yeah, by all means, Dan, no worries. And and yeah, anytime, man. Problems is once again daytime. And no med no uh house area or safe house area is like near here, so that's unfortunate. So yeah, this is just gonna be one of the few that I'm just gonna have to tackle on during the daytime. Which means that's gonna be really full to the brim with them. Right, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Wasn't there. Which entrance was it? It was back here. Yeah. And though the amount of time we have left, this might only be the last thing we can do. Maybe maybe one more hive. Um, but yeah, it's definitely gonna be working towards this secret ending slash the hive. And then we'll do more main story and like side quest stuff later on. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fight them. Yeah. Jump. Come on. Okay. Hold on. Damn it! I was using my med kit and everything. Okay, I'm not mailing. I'm just gonna fucking shoot. <laughs> like, mailing only really works if there's, like, maybe one. But, not that many.
All right. Take 300. Ah, oh, crap. Those uh, crying baby things showed up again. I can hear it. They're on me 24 7. Bring it on, you've all the pieces of shit. Just not when I'm not ready. <laughs> Fucking heal! There's only three left, damn it. I was hoping I can get them all done today. Let me try to hit up this one safe house, and uh, then we're going to come back here, because trying to do this during the, uh, the daytime is really unnecessarily difficult, and I don't want to keep doing it. I'm just going to be honest. I want it to be easier. <laughs> In fact, I think I was originally going to use this safe house to try to sleep, but I just didn't do it at the time when there was the one hacker guy in here. One of the main reasons why I also didn't like the hacker guy is just because of the fact that he was, uh, being kind of snarky. Like, he, to he was like, duh, and being like, oh, well, if you don't care, then don't use my shit. It's, it's like, dude, it's like, all I just said was, I I'm politely declining. I was being the most easy going as I could. If you're still getting offended by that, I'm not going to baby you. sees me every fucking time. Wait, what the hell? The dead faceless guy. Dispatch. Sergeant uh, Tumor. Uh, I, not Sergeant Tumor. Sergeant Tim Er. It's and and. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing at my, the fact that I mispronunciated it. Oh, this is about the, uh... The thing. About the, uh... It, this is hints towards the, uh... The Easter egg about the, the secret ending. And that's the screamer, which is the zombie child. Um, what they have written down here. Very interesting from a lore perspective. All right, well, let's see if I can try to get up here and try to do this volatile mess, because they're all down here, basically. Problem is that there's a... 
volleyball right there. Can I go around you? Or are you gonna see me? He sees me, what the fuck? Why the hell do you guys see me? Like, I can't seem to get out of here. And I can't go up, so the only way to go is through, so I guess I'm gonna have to sh shoot this guy. Damn it. Yeah, you're not completely resistant to bullets. Fuck you. Alright, fine, no, fine, bring on another one. Here we go. I get more agility points? Yeah, but I didn't get the thing I needed. Alright, before it's too late, I'm gonna try to get into this cave. Oh! I almost missed. I got I got 420. Ha. Huh. Alright, this is gonna be a lot easier, hopefully. Alright, chat, so let's do this. I also have no more health kits, so this is actually really good that I uh I'm doing this now. Um, this way. There should be actually zero volatiles in here now. If anything, it should just be the new ones, like the ones being, uh, created. Yeah, a lot, lot more open. I'm so waiting for just one of these volatile things that jump scare me that's being created, you know what I mean? There's no way it's not. The, the, the devs had to think about it, surely. Hold on. Get off! I still want to die! this so I can kill this thing what that was an entrance what where does this go Reach the twins? Are they here? No, 
was weird. No, I still need to clear out the cave. I, I can't get distracted. Now it's clear. Good. And just in time, too, as I think I'm about to die. <laughs> I think I got it. Yeah, I'm still doing the caves, G. I uh, had a little bit of it. See, there was a little bit of a, uh, a hiccup going on where um, I wanted to try to get there when it was nighttime, so that way it's more empty in the cave and they're more like outside the the uh, open world. But the the closest safe room was like really far away, so I had to not get caught while trying to get back to their cave, unless I wanted to wait for night just to happen naturally and just chill there. So all that's left is just these two. Because I'm trying to think. Uh, I decided not to do the races because it's not worth my time. So, unless there's something else that's secret, because we, we, we're just waiting for the ending, we're waiting for the, the side quest and the main quest to be caught up until it's actually decision time, like all the story up until the ending choice. And then basically just ranking up Crane and then getting whatever blueprints we want, because like he's almost maxed out on... uh. His original base abilities. I just need two more for agility and then uh, two more for, um, sorry, three more for survivor. Yeah, so technically we're almost done with the game. It's just that I'm kind of doing a completionist run at this point. Uh, I gotta go see you. No problem, Glabersco. You're good. Uh, don't say you don't have a teleport remote, please. Please, for God's sake. Please say you don't have the teleport remote, please. Or please don't say it. No, I don't. Sorry. I have zero idea what a teleport remote is. I don't even know what that is, G. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do then, Chaz, I'll just go over to where the vial, uh, actually, no, I'm going to go to where uh, safe house is, because I need to get more supplies. I'm going to head over to here. We're going to head over to the safe house, and that's where we're going to end the stream, because, uh, it just became 5 o'clock, and I have to get off to be able to go, to get ready for work. Uh, but, however, though, we will definitely continue this again more on, uh, Thursday. We'll do those last two volatile nests, and then we're going to do some more story quests, and bring Crane up just over time, and then eventually th this should be done soon. I don't need to max out uh, Legend, and uh, since uh, races, I really honestly don't care about ranking up the, the races thing to the full max, I'm just going to be honest, so I might not do that. But uh, we'll see. The one, the main things on my mind right now is rank up the original base stats, minus uh, the car, and then uh, do all the story missions, and then just complete all the ball, the hyzers, like any secret weapons that we might have not found or something like that, for example.
If you're looking for some really good workout uh, songs, I can give you actually guys some of my uh, recommendations of like what songs I listen to while I work out. A couple of good songs to listen to is like anything by like Eminem or like uh, Metallica or um, The Offspring or especially uh, Avenged Sevenfold. I love the Avenged Sevenfold uh, songs, like the really hardcore ones. There's like This Means War, um, uh, Almost Easy. And, um, what's another really good one that hits really hard? Um, Shepherd of Fire hits pretty hard. There's a lot of really good just Avenged Sevenfold songs that are just pure testosterone, and I love them. A couple of Eminem songs that are really good is, uh, Venom from the Venom movie. Uh, of course, Rap God, Lose Yourself. That's another really good one. Uh, I, I overall just have a couple of songs that are bangers. It's just that I don't like the uh, the band in their entirety. Like uh, one one song uh, that I really like that I've not really listened to the other parts of the the uh, the band is uh, called Mountain by like Three Days Grace. It's a really good inspirational song about being like an underdog. And then there's also this one Metallica song, by the way, which I never even knew about this until a couple months ago when my dad told me. So I'm like, I really like old stuff by like older bands. I've said that some of my favorite bands are actually like, you know, things like ACDC, Led Zeppelin, and Kiss and Metallica. And uh, there's a Metallica song out there called So What? And it's literally just the, the them being as vulgar and offensive as they possibly can be. And keep in mind that this is in the 90s, so, like, there's some things that they say that are, like, not aged well, but they're really just cool to listen to. Like, it's just pure and other I just don't give a fuck songs, and I love it. Like, if you if you ever want to hear just a song about, like, not giving a fuck, listen to the Metallica song called So What. It literally is just the embodiment of, like, I don't give a fuck, deal with it. And it's not even like I'm, I don't give a fuck. Deal with it. It's also I don't give a fuck, and you're gonna have to deal with it. And that's and that's just uh, something I just thought was kind of funny. Yeah, Slim Shady's really good. Some bands I listen to is uh, ACDC, Led Zeppelin, uh, Led Zeppelin, Kiss, uh, Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, Offspring, um, uh, Eminem, Journey. Um, Rolling Stones, like Painted Black is a good song by Rolling Stones. Um, what's another really good one? I can literally just pull up the, the, my Amazon Music. Dude, I, I'm even weird where I listen to like some WWE theme songs. I used to grow up with WWE as a kid. I've always liked wrestling and I've actually gotten back into it again as of late just because of the fact that like uh, I just, I've always liked wrestling. Uh, so I even have some like old songs in here like Triple H, Cody Rhodes, um, Dolph Ziggler, John Cena, Miz, Randy Orton, stuff like that. Um, some other good songs in here would be like, um, e even some like, uh, video game songs. I got Black Ops 2's Lobby theme song, Adrenaline. Uh, I've got some weird things like Gangster's Paradise. Eye of the Tiger, Shotgun Blues, Volbeat's actually a band that my brother listens to that I got into recently, and they're pretty good. Uh, Skillet's another one of my favorites, too. There's a lot of just good bands in general that you guys could just, like, listen to. John, tell a short story of how I got mods so fast. Uh, basically, the idea was that I gave Dan mods just because of the fact that, uh, when there was a little bit of a hiccup where, um, like, let's say, like, for example, when uh, a couple of other viewers were going rogue, not necessarily the name drop because I'm trying to move on from those subjects. Um, basically, I just had Dan be extra security. Uh, it's the exact same reason why Zoe got mod and also Dentry got mod. That that was them. They they were the recent three up until I recently gave it to Glob Bursko and Drages. But it also just depends on what workout you're doing, which is uh, important about what music you pick. So I recall my vehicle and then where's the shopkeeper? Once I find the shopkeeper and I get some stuff, I, uh, I'll have to end the stream. Where is he? Is he in the basement? No, I don't think he's in the basement. This is the house where I actually found uh, the one family at, remember? 
Like the one one dad. The one that was like locked in the basement just praying to himself. Uh where the fuck is this guy? Is it in this specific house? Spawn buggy oh there's no there's no trading guy here. Never mind. So I might have to actually go to another area. But actually, then again, though, if I'm going during the nighttime, I wouldn't have to worry about all those as much. Uh, it's mostly the med kits. Not the Twitch channel, just uh, just in general. That's what it was. That's what I was explaining, Dan. That was what I was saying in general. Like, I gave it to you on Discord, and then, and then I also gave it to you on Twitch later on. I, I, I got the story right. Even though it's, uh, I've only been here since early February. Well, Dan, you're just a cool dude. Uh, the, the, I've given a mod to people sometimes on the very first day upon meeting him. Like, for example, Jake Squid, I knew him in, a, in Among Us stream for a couple hours. I gave him mod. That was just because he was a cool dude. I judge based off a of, of personality more than anything. So this is what we're going to do, chat. So we're going to wrap things up here. And then next week, well, like this Thursday, I'm going to be doing the last two Volatile Hives, trying to do more of the main quests and the side quests. In fact, I'm trying to think of how many side quests and main quests that there is even left. Crash Boom Bang. The Thrill of the Chase. So this is Adam's house and visiting the twins. And there's Anomalies, which ties into the gathering. And then, unless there's some other side quests that still yet to pop up, we'll see. I'll also re I'll research to see how many missions there are left, and I'll also research to see if there's any secret weapons, because other than the Vault of the Hives, all that's just left is ranking Crane up and then completing the ending. I've talked about this recently on streams where I said, like, there's basically different types of completionist runs you could do. There's, like, completing the main story, completing the main story plus its side quest, completing the main story, its side quest, and then any DLC, completing the main story, side quest, DLC, and, like, collectibles and stats and stuff like that, so, like, per superfluous stuff. Then there's, like, uh, main story, side quest, DLC, stats, achievements, which is just stuff outside of the game, and then all that plus uh, loot stuff, like, uh, DLC stuff and cosmetics and, like, item shops. Uh, but that last one's kind of hard because uh, even though you have like a lot of uh, disposable money or you're willing to risk RNG because some games are loot box oriented, um, everyone's uh, completionist about the video games are different. I've done a fair share uh, amount of a mixture of all of those. Uh, but what I'm trying to do for this in a sense of completionist is try to basically do like all the main story and side quest stuff plus most of the DLC slash cosmetics and the... Uh, like superfluous stuff like achievements and like ranking crane up mostly to story you know what i mean but uh yeah guys uh at the end of the day that's gonna be here for today's live stream if you enjoyed please definitely drop a follow it's always greatly appreciated and let you guys know when i'm live streaming next be on the lookout for more content coming soon look forward to myth busting mondays tomorrow uh i hope you guys end up enjoying today's stream just uh i'll see you guys in the discord sometime soon and i hope you end up enjoying seeing another live stream or youtube video for the most unique content creators you guys are ever going to see Thank you for watching, guys. I love you. Peace out.